Greetings. My name is Janelle Conkle, and I am the Executive Director of St. Francis Home. Thank you for sharing this year's Remembrance Service with us. While this year's service is unique, the underlying importance remains the same, to honor those who have passed away and to celebrate life. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted either by death or life, hear our prayer and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. Amen. A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. In fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? Fool, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. For as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or of some other grain. But God gives it a body as he has chosen, and to each kind of seed its own body. So it is with the resurrection of the dead, what is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a physical body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. For this perishable body must put on imperishability. And this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The word of the Lord. I speak to you today in the name of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The death of a loved one turns our lives upside down. Simple and plain feelings of love may become complicated memories, regrets and longings, or even lingering doubts. Time-honored traditions and holidays not only miss a beloved member, but along with them, so often vanishes their joy and purpose. Those we counted on, those we loved, those we cared for are no longer visible to us. Death disorients the steadiest among us. We at St. Francis Home speak to you today through this medium. We are unable to have you in our chapel as we would due to the ongoing pandemic. Our world itself has been turned upside down. And that precisely is to what St. Paul directs our attention. He proclaims boldly that death has been swallowed up in victory. As death has been our fear, our end and our greatest foe, Christ's death has turned death itself upside down. Christ's resurrection is the promise and proof to what is to come. Those we remember today lived with Christ and they died with Christ. Those names we invoke are not the lost, but the found. Our memories are not finitude, but first fruits. These lives, those we mourn and remember, are the bare seed that will come to a perfect harvest. 
Where, O death, is your victory? In the words of St. Ambrose, his death is victory. His death is a sacred sign. Each name we read is a testimony to life lived and to our heart's lament, but also to Christ's transforming work we do not yet see. Amen. Esther Diet, Marceline Gundert, Viola Bueller, Margaret Erickson, Sister Rebecca Endress, Lucy Wiedemeyer, Eileen Dreifurst, Marjorie Keenan, Donna Webb, Dorothy Dell Flanders, Betty Lou Taylor, Jerome Youngworth, Sister Rose Walters, Gilbert Stoberl. Donald Giebel, Grace Mayer, Shirley Husnick, Mary Marcourt, Valeria Val Stefani, Eleonoris Ellie Losey, Norma Oslus, Dorothy Fritz, Linda Birschbach, Florence Simon, Dolores Kettler, John Sturm, Carol Wims, Rosemary Francis, Sister Helen Renzelman. Bernie Halber, Werner Hoops, Leatrice Lee Vandestreek, Tom Gillis, Sister Anne McKean, Rita Grosnick, Joyce Ottery, Arlene Gronemeyer, Jeanette Marty Wirtz, Evangeline Evie Fritz, Anna Whalen, June Hall, Marie Rodenkirk, Wilma Smedberg. Mary McCardle Lloyd, Sister Columbier Revelant, Irma Kraus, Jim Eilbrecht, Judith Holman, Norman Foyt, Jeanette O'Connor, Bonnie Streblo, Rosella Sally Yachfeld, Alan Knuth, Verda Bond, Kathleen Halfman, Beverly Olson, Mary Schiller, Dawn Sears. Elaine Miller, Sister Mary Dennis McMahon, Joseph Disterhaft, Rita Lair, Juletta Schmitz, Joan Bester, Kathleen Tony, Maudie Meingast, Lucille Polzine, Janine Jeannie Guilfoyle, Mary Longo, Anna Marie Shea, William Parker, Louis Fred Martin, and Miriam Steinke. Let us pray. Father of all, we pray to you for those we love but no longer see. Grant them your peace. Let light perpetual shine upon them, and in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of your perfect will. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.